Hello everybody and welcome to the first official episode of the Men Idiots, Midiots, whatever you want to call it, podcast, alright? Now, we've been trying to record this for a month. Th- this is true. Now, Shauna had this great idea, and if you don't know who Shauna is, which which you have to by now, but, because, you know, if you've been on my channel before, you would know, you know, because Idiots Podcast and all that, but if you don't, you're stupid, Her Twitter's down in the description and everything. So make sure to check all, all that all that stuff out, alright? But anyway. Don't follow me unless you like shit posting. Yeah, pretty much. But Shauna came to me. Alright. A couple weeks ago. Or a month ago. And I'm uh she came up with this great idea that we should do a podcast where we cover smaller Nintendo topics. Or gaming in general. And I was like, yo, that's a great idea. Let's do it. And then a month later, here we are. We already recorded this once. We did, it but it turned out so bad. Scrapped it. Yeah, but now we have completely all new topics too. So it's and everything's up. Then to we had like seven thousand scheduling errors. Yeah, so pretty much, um, this series it's gonna be recorded not live streamed on like my idiots podcast, and like I said, this is a more of a smaller downscale, chill, chill kind of podcast, you know. It's not like the Idiots podcast where everyone's fighting to try and get the mic. Yeah. And uh, the attention of the much. audience. It's just kind of us back and forth talking about what we think about the smaller Nintendo topics. Yeah. Not like the big stuff, like yeah. fucking Smash News. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, each episode will be usually around 30 minutes-ish, maybe 40. Like, there's, like, there's no time cap, but I want it to be like... 30 minutes minimum so that's pretty much like the goal but i can't guarantee that every time because there aren't always topics um i don't know how often seriously it'll be it'll it won't be weekly most likely because there's only so much news that i can generate in a week well, it'll probably be monthly maybe two a month three a month it de- like it depends i don't know it really just depends on what uh dming news is yeah. happening around then it could be. A... There's no real way to determine when we are going to be able to do these. Mm-hmm. It could be once a month. It could be three times a month. Yeah, it, like it could be bi. It could be a bi-weekly. That's 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 not you know. But like it depends on topics. It's it's just really sporadic with this particular series. Yeah, but it's a great series. I'm happy to introduce because I love doing podcasts. And this one will be different because this one's actually recorded and not live streamed like my others. So it's gonna be. It's going to be a different way so, to experience this. So now, if we um don't like how it turned out, we can actually go back and change it, unlike the Idiots podcast, where it's live streaming and everything we say is out there. Yeah. Also, also Shauna, to anybody who, you know, who, who may not know you, like, you know, if you're first seeing this, how would you like to, you know, introduce yourself properly? Um... My name is Shauna. I, uh... <laughs> I play video games. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I watch anime. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh... I'm playing Dream Daddy, a dating simulator right now. Do you play Minecraft, Shauna? I... Every day. <laughs> every day you play Minecraft? I play Minecraft every day. It's just in my blood. All right, great to know. So, I think with that, we're gonna we're, we're gonna get right into our topics. As, as you can see, they're all right there. But we're gonna be going from the uh, top down, of course. We're gonna start off by talking about no, um, uh, no, 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 fuck that. Let's go from the bottom up. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. So we reports. Um. Yeah. Now, last time we tried to record this, we um uh, we went to um uh, specifically talk about DK Tropical Freeze coming on Switch, but now we're gonna talk about that in another game, which we'll get to. But first, let's talk about Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Um, first of all, it's a great $60. game. dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's sixty dollars. Um, we'll get back to that in a second. But Shauna, how do you feel about Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze? I think it is the best two D platformer that at least I've ever played. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like $60 is an outrageous price. I mean, it's a very fun game. It has a lot of replayability. It 
um, has a lot of content overall. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're just blazing through the game, it's good for casual players. But if you want 100% it, it's going to be a grueling time, as most Donkey Kong Country games are. Yeah, but this game, it has a really good balance of fun and difficulty, like throughout each level of boss fight. Mm -hmm. really I, I will balanced. admit, it does have its problems. Like, some of the bosses get too repetitive and yeah. go on for too long, and the time trials are a bit unfair. Yeah, but, but like, it, it, it's a very good, solid game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wouldn't say porting it was a bad decision. Oh, no, definitely not. Because I did not play it on the Wii U, if I'm being honest. Like, I do have one, but... Eh. I, you know, game was, like, ever, like, really, like, called out to me back then. So, I don't know. But then here's a, a, a debate about um the $60 price tag. This is kind of old news, but we're going we're gonna to go through it again. Now, my my take on it, I think it's definitely worth the $60. Because, first of all, um, you do get the option for it to be um, played portably. It's it's 1080p, 60fps. Like, it's, it, it looks it looks incredible when, well, I'm, uh, when docked. When, when I'm uh, handheld, it's only 720p. But it still looks, it still looks really good. It, it still looks really good. And uh, the big thing that everyone made a meme about is the new funky mode, which is a great way... For, to introduce new people to the Donkey yes. Kong Country series, because it's a hard series. Uh, it's, it hard is games. a very, there are very hard games, and trying to introduce casual players has always been a struggle. But they found a pretty good way, because Funky, there's no time limit underwater. There's like, uh, you don't get affected by spikes, mm -hmm. and he can double jump, and it's just a good way to get people used to the series and even if you're not playing as funky if you're just in funky mode playing as donkey kong uh, as long as you have a partner you have six hearts mm -hmm. and you can infinite roll yeah it's pretty much but i think like yeah like like that goes into like the whole six dollar price tag like 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 an ads and like a like an extra mode now granted funky kong it doesn't change the game too much but it does give like like an extra boost of content to it that gives it like definitely like, like at least like I'm a like a, I'm a replay or two after you beat it for the um uh, first time, and I'm um and, um you you go all right and like we can't forget that the Wii U did not do good for Nintendo they probably lost money you know like with like the sales of this game because obviously a lot of money and hard work was put into it so they kind of need to get that money back which is why they're doing a bunch of other Wii U ports and such and the thing is. The reason they're doing these ports is because if you've looked at the sales charts, they're making more, like sometimes twice as more as the Wii U counterparts. And they're making decent off of it. And if no one liked it, then why would they be selling so well? Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, many people didn't have the Wii U. Mm -hmm. And the Switch being the fastest selling console of all time, I think it's good that they're bringing some of their best games over. Now, they're not bringing, like, all their games over. Like, they're not going to bring Mario Tennis Ultra Smash over because uh, that was a very bad game. But they are bringing over the big stuff that matters, like Mario Kart 8 and Rayman Legends, yeah. Hyrule Warriors, yeah. and DK. It just... Bayonetta. It, Bayonetta, for sure. Um, it's, it's, it's just too much. It's just too much good stuff. So yeah, pretty much. In, in conclusion. Hold on, I just. All right, yeah, I want to so put my two cents in here. Yeah. Everyone praised Xbox for bringing 360 games, uh, to the Xbox One. Yet, why are you saying that bringing Wii U games to the Switch is a bad idea? Mm -hmm. I I think people are just wanting a reason to be mad at Nintendo. Yeah. It's 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 just some like, non-Nintendo players who are kind of mad at the um, Switch is like like major um, success pretty much. That's how I look at it. Cause there are, there there are people like that, unfortunately. But yeah, in conclusion, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, is a great game. If you still happen to have a Wii U and don't have a Switch, pick it up for only twenty bucks because Nintendo selects. On and, and if you have a, a Switch and you're kind of getting it, j just get it. Great game. 
where sixty dollars, especially if you didn't play it through on the Wii U, because you know it's pretty much like the it's like the same exact thing. It's like purchasing on the Wii U for sixty bucks when it initially came out. Oh man! But then th that leads us into our, our our other port we're gonna talk about, and that's Hyrule Warriors. You wanna I, it off? The Hyrule Warriors uh, port is a very good port as it combines both the Wii U and 3DS versions of the game yes. into one game. I will concede it has a lot of problems. Uh, there is a huge difficulty spike around the like 12th or 13th area. Uh, no spoilers, but <laughs> it's <laughs> it's just kind of it, it seems like an oversight in my opinion like it's not you as a character are getting stronger it's the game is throwing more bullshit at you yeah pretty much but hyrule warriors i mean you can't really blame hyrule warriors specifically because it's just a dynasty warriors reskin you have to blame the dynasty warriors devs for that yeah that's true but uh, I never played Hyrule Warriors on the 3DS or Wii U, and I, I picked it up when it came out, and I I've been loving it. It's it's just really fun. It's it's um addictive. It, I don't know. It's just a really good game. A really good um uh, really good or a really good game to port because you know again it gives a lot of people to experience this for, for like the uh, first time, especially how this it's it's way superior than the other two versions. Well, I won't say way, but it's a bit more because it combines content from both games so it really is like the yama the yama the like best way to experience like the game especially for the yama first time for any like like new players um uh, like me because hey and another thing i want to point out is it's just kind of a celebration of zelda history yeah and after breath of the wild i feel like it was kind of needed to port that as breath of the wild just broke new grounds in not only Zelda, but Nintendo as a whole, and uh, and so, the, the Yama gaming industry. Like like, remember, it, it won Game of the Year twenty seventeen, which is it, really it, crazy. It influenced in the future. Breath of the Wild is going to be looked at as one of the best games of all time. I'm mm -hmm. up there with the Ocarina of Time and stuff. And for people who just got into the series, like Michael, I believe you, uh, your first. Zelda game was Breath of the Wild. No, it was not. <laughs> My first Zelda game was not Breath of the Wild. That wait, no, that was Hazel. Yeah. <laughs> but um, for people getting into the Zelda series, starting with Breath of the Wild, it, it's good to have High Warriors, as you can see. Oh, that game kind of looks cool. That character looks neat. I wonder what their story is in their game. Mm -hmm. And it it just it's good for the company as a whole, as it'll drive sales for older games, getting a little bit of revenue. But also, it just brings in more people into the fandom, uh, exactly. driving sales of newer games. Yeah. Dang. So pretty much the same thing with my Donkey Kong. If you never played it, pick it up. It's worth sixty dollars because it's added content from both versions. It's the it's like and the best game. game. Yeah. And it's, just, it's, just, it's just a great port, an, another great choice. I mean, the only only thing left is um, uh, Mario Maker, you know, whatever. And if you've never played a Rayman game before, uh, Bio Legends Definitive Edition, it has all of its predecessor origins inside of it. So yo, I've never played a Rayman game. I want to play that one because it. I saw it. At, I saw. I saw it at my Best Buy for only twenty bucks, and I I considered yeah. getting it. A full price game at 40 bucks i mean a full game at 40 bucks with another game inside of it it's a great deal and it's very fun it was only 20 bucks at my, at my best buy well i bought it when it was new and it was oh. just 40 bucks yeah either way that is and, a good price though and just if you haven't played any of the games we've talked about like mario kart 8 deluxe go ahead and buy it it's a good time just hanging out with your friends Playing Mario Kart, uh, you won't regret it. I guarantee you. And not to mention that I'm uh, in in um, uh, July. I'm um, uh, Treasure Tracker is coming out for Switch too. Another great game to port. Cause I did play it on Wii U, 
and really getting, I, I, I'm going to buy it again because it's only 40 bucks this time around. It's not going to be a full 60, which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm going to. It, it's, I, I love Toad Treasure Tracker. I never beat it, but, you know, I've, I've, I've played a bit. Really good. I am. So that's what's coming, though, and I'm really excited for that. I feel like the last of the Wii U ports will be announced at my E3 this year. I feel like after that, they won't do any more. Like, there can only be, there, there can only be so few um, reports left. Like, like, maybe, like, maybe Mario Maker. Or there have been a lot of, you know, speculation about um, there being just, like, a straight-up sequel and not a port, which, eh, I'm okay with that. I just want to add that with Nintendo doing how great they are recently, it's not like they're slowing down development by porting games to the switch mm -hmm. it's literally copy and paste sometimes add new content or if it's like mario Kart Eight Deluxe, just keep the dlc in precisely and that if you would have bought these games back when they were on the wii u they would have cost full price 60 dollars and you'd have to download the dlc and in higher warriors cases uh, get the 3DS version. Now, they're just standard price games, and you get both versions of Hyrule Warriors, all the DLC in Mario Kart 8, mm -hmm. and it's just... And the, 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 the Bayonetta port, you, you get the uh, first one, digital download, too. That's cool. Yeah, it's just $60 for two very great games. Mm -hmm. And if you find it on sale, it would be even less. Yeah, especially with some... Uh... Bayonetta 3 come out sometime sometime soon you need to finish Bayonetta 2 Mike I I I, I need to finish my second playthrough of Bayonetta 1 first I'm still stuck on it <laughs> what part are you stuck on dude one of the boss fights it's really I'm pretty sure it's on, on, on my chapter 5 I uh I will replay it later back to you on that all right, but let's go ahead and move on to our next topic. I don't think we have anything more to say about nope. ports. Mario Tennis Aces. That's coming out soon. Looks like June a very solid game. It does. Uh, one of my favorite parts about Mario Super Slugger is my favorite Mario sports game was the adventure mode because I back when I was a kid I didn't have any friends. Blah blah blah. Stop story. But being able to play Mario sports games without having to have local multiplayer was a good thing. Mm -hmm. And bringing the adventure mode back, it's like the adventure mode in Smash, except not on such a big scale. It's just like well, yeah. without it there, it's still a very solid multiplayer game. But with it there, it just adds a lot and. It looks like the mechanics are going to be really good. Not like in Ultra Smash, <laughs> where it was just the three main shots yeah. and an insta win card in the Mega Mushroom. It I'm... looks very intuitive. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen some game explained gameplay of it, and it it just it looks very polished deep. and polished. Very polished. The controls look very tight, mm. and with the online multiplayer and the, uh, the online tournaments, I mean. I'm like, okay, okay, look, here's the thing. Um, I'm most likely going to get it, but I want to try the the, um, uh, the um, online tournament first just to make sure that it's fun because... Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I If there wasn't, a, like, a story mode, I, can, I could, like, guarantee I wouldn't be getting it, but, but I, I'm thinking about it. I mean, I'm waiting on the reviews, see if it's worth a full 60 bucks. Because, I mean, I don't know. I am kind of bummed out that you can only play as Mario in the story mode, but hey, not not everything can be perfect. Yeah, that's true. But man, oh yeah, oh yeah. If anybody doesn't know about the online tournament, um, uh, on the eShop right now, you can download a free tournament. It's not up yet. It's uh, it's gonna be June second and third, I believe, for a certain amount no, of time. No, first, first and second. Yeah, first it goes up tomorrow. June first and second. Yeah, so it's coming out really soon for the next th this weekend. Well, well by the time this is up, it'll yeah. probably be over. Yeah, it'll probably be over. Or I may not have started yet, because it depends on how I'm, I'm uploading this tomorrow. I have no idea. Um, But yeah, Mario Tennis Aces, 
it looks i remember i remember it, it was announced at that that one mini direct back in january i believe wasn't it yeah and then it had like the spotlight in the last direct yeah uh i'm and it looked really fun it was appealing to casual players mm-hmm. and for hardcore veterans of the mario sports games that sounds a bit weird to be a veteran <laughs> sports game but it looks just like a really neat fun time yeah like it's very simple but not every game has to be as big and as complex as breath of the wild yeah it's true and you can tell how much nintendo cares about this just looking from the um, box art from a ten- from ultra smash to like this one it's just <sighs> and not to mention the, the roster of characters is like very large mm-hmm. they have like chain chomp and spike yeah they have like i th- I'm pretty sure Shy Guy and like Drago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Change Chomp. I'm so excited to play as Change Chomp. And they have like bosses like P. Piranha and Gooper Blooper. Mm-hmm. It, it, it looks like the main story isn't just going to be battle against CPUs. It's going to be like every level has its own interesting thing that you have to work around with your different types of shots and zone speed. Yeah. And your special shot. That is a very dumb name, though. I'm going to say it. Special Shot is the stupidest name. They could have named it, like, Ultra Shot or Mega Shot. No. (laughs) Special Shot. (laughs) Makes me sound like a kid in a special ed class. (laughs) Oh, man. But, like, this game... It looks special, alright? I just think it's going to be really good. Um, I just... I'm excited for reviews. I, I get where you're coming from, because... If you look back on other Mario sports games like Mario Superstar Baseball or Mario Ultra Smash, I know we keep bringing that up a lot, but (laughs) it's just a fine example of they rushed it just to fill in a gap in releases. Yeah. But but this one, they don't have gaps in releases this year. No. They they wanted to make this one. They have a set schedule of what they want to do and when, and it's great. Like Nintendo, like they actually care a lot about this console. So, like they know they have something great on their hands. Like they've known for like a while now, but like still, it's I don't know, man. They seem to care a lot more. Yeah, it's not like Ultra Smash where it was just like um just a few basic modes. This one has like it has the online, the story mode, the local multiplayer. Yeah. Um, also, I might add, Ultra Smash didn't have a story mode whatsoever. If you no. wanted to play yourself, you had to play against CPUs. Yeah, it's pretty much. So this is this just looks like a big upgrade, both in mechanics, just the tightness of the controls, and just everything about it. It's gonna be good. I can't wait to save Luigi from the Infinity Racket. Okay, no. The story was literally revealed to be you have to track down the five power stones to save Luigi from the power racket. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty much. Tennis Aces. A surprise announcement at the one mini direct. It's going to be really good. I'm super excited for it. And you should be too. Now, I'm going to let mike cover pokemon quest as he has played it i haven't i've just seen the announcement and the art style so if i have something to pitch in i will but take it away mike pokemon quest if anybody you if anybody kept up to the um the um, pokemon press conference last night you'll know um a couple things and i'm uh the one special thing that i'm not gonna mention here we're gonna talk about on this podcast which will be saturday um uh June I, I thought the 2nd. special thing was Pokemon Quest. Yes, special thing was po- was Minecraft too, aka Pokemon yeah. Quest. Pick uh, yeah, so pretty much. Um, so 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 today's Wednesday. I'm, I'm gonna be uploading this tomorrow, Thursday, and on my Saturday there's gonna be a new Year's podcast if, if everything goes according to plan, which hopefully it does. Where where we will, where we will be discussing every everything but Pokemon Quest. But Pokemon Quest was the first announcement. It was just some. Uh, it's just a tiny little spinoff game. If you guys have ever played um, uh, Pixelmon, it's, it looks similar to it. 
Um, hence why Nintendo took it down. <laughs> For this, pretty much. But, um, uh, I barely played any of it. I played maybe about, like, 10, 15 minutes. It's weird to describe. It's just, like, everything's all blocky. You just kind of, like, like run around levels just, like, killing other Pokemon. You, like, can, you can, like... It's just, like, a mobile game, but it's on the Switch. And it was literally released right after the amount of conference was over. It's just kind of weird. It's on mobile, too, which is interesting. But I have it on my Switch. And I've, I haven't played much, but from what I've heard and from, and from the little of experience, it's a pretty small and lackluster, just like, like, just like little side project, which I'm not surprised because, I mean, it's cool. It's, it's a cool little neat project, but it's not going to hold over very long because... It says it says that it's on a free start, meaning that it's gonna cost money probably to get far eventually, which is <coughs> Mario Run. <coughs> yeah, pretty much the definition. Well, Mario Run, you just pay ten bucks once, and then you have like 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 the whole game, which is really cool. Cause Mario, I I really look, I really like Mario Run. I don't care. I thought they're super neat. Anyway, point is is that. Um, uh, Pokemon Quest. It's it's on it's on Nintendo Switch and mobile devices right now. Um, I mean, if if you if you're ever bored and want to check it out, I I guess. But it's it's not it's not it's not a bad game. It's just it's, you know it's boring. It's it's just a mobile game pretty much. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Anything, Shona? Any any input? I just thought. For Minecraft 2, they'd have something more grand than that. You know, they took so many adventures, or um, uh, they took so many risks with with the original Minecraft, alright? So many risks, it was just insane. Minecraft 2, they just brought it back down to um, uh, to this, and, and I think me as a Nintendo and Minecraft fan, I'm, I'm disappointed. Yeah, and they, they, they still, with you. they're still updating Minecraft too, so it's just kind of a side no, project. They updated cool. their aquatic animals in Minecraft. <laughs> you can. You, you know can, what else has been updated? What? Our privacy policies. <laughs> Yo, here at the Game Men and Idiots podcast, we have updated our privacy our, our privacy policy. Fun, you know. Uh, yeah. To watch Men Idiots, you have to be at least. I just realized in the picture you sent spelled minity it's wrong, you spelled it minute bits. Oh no no, I fixed it. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't worry, I fixed it. You said that was correct at first, by the way, and like I was like, is it? Then I I, I have my glasses off. I can't help it. <laughs> but yeah, um Pokemon Quest, aka Minecraft two, it's it's okay. I mean it's a free to play too. So you can't really complain about a free to play game. I I don't know. It's the Pokemon Quest. It's not very good. I'm sorry, but it's true. Not not to be confused with Pokemon Conquest, which yeah, just sucks don't... because it's Fire Emblem. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but ten people just unfollowed me your channel because I said Fire Emblem sucks. Oh no, um, I tweeted. So you know, you remember that 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 one on unpopular opinion thingy I said where I said Fire Emblem sucks. Yes, I had like five people saying like, "Oh, like I'm a, that 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 like I agree." And these people, like, they play Fire Emblem too, but like, like, I don't know. It's weird, but pretty much a lot of people don't like Fire Emblem, and they think and and they they think it um it sucks. I mean, I mean, they're all just joking. I think, I think but... most of the hate is fueled behind the fact that Fire Emblem has six characters in Smash. Yes. That's why I dislike Fire Emblem. And it's not even that good of a franchise. And without Smash, it wouldn't even be a franchise anymore, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. But I mean, then again, like, okay, there are just so many, like, so I, I was at a, um, uh, I, I was at a, I was at a Best Buy the other day. I was looking at their, their um, uh, 3DS games. And there, like, there are just, like, so many Fire Emblem games. It's like, why do they make so many? Like, I don't know, like, like where to start. It's just, there's just so many. And it's, all... it's why there are so many Fire Emblem characters in Smash. Because there are, like, I think there's 27 Fire Emblem games. 
Jeez. Like, not even Pokemon have. That's ridiculous. Well. We move on to the next topic. We, we, we could have rained about Fire Emblem for a while. But if I, I'll, I'll get Fire Emblem the Plus that I does not like, which is my, you know, like I said, I smashed the main, so. Hey. Fire Emblem is kind of cool. Hey, but Pokemon cool. Quest, go pick it up if you're bored. It's free. Now, into our last topic. Sean, I want you to, to talk about the, the you know, our, our um, uh, hopes and expectations if this summer thing will ever happen. So, oh, not so. after the NES and SNES minis have been revealed, inevitably, inevitably, there will be an N64 mini. It just, we don't know if it'll be this. Three next D three, or the three after. Well, I mean, it's gonna um, come sometime. Well, oh my, well, the, the NES and, and SNES they weren't revealed at E threes, were they? They were just kind of just announced. Or... Yes, but I feel like the N sixty four was major enough to have an E three reveal. Yeah, I think many. so too. And Nintendo has recently uh, copyrighted or trademarked the N sixty four again, meaning the N sixty four mini could be in development. As of right now. Well, then again, like they, they, they always have to refile trademarks just so like um, another company can like take yeah, the yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, but, but it, it could mean nothing. But most likely, it means nothing. But I mean, you, you know, you gotta be optimistic. It could, it could definitely mean something. Now, obviously, it have games like um, Mario sixty four, Donkey Kong sixty four, uh, you know, Paper yeah, Mario, yeah, Paper Mash sixty four, um. Kirby and, and the Crystal Shards. If it, it wasn't, that's what that's what it was called, right? Crystal Shards, something yeah. like that. It would it have, um, yeah, it would have um, uh, shoot, it oh, it would have um, uh, a couple of the Mario Party games, like the first two. Yeah, the first three. Oh yeah, first three. Wait, I could have. It yeah, was yeah, one, three, two, three, and three. three on the NES, and first... then it was four through seven on the GameCube. Yeah. Why was so NES. many... Wait, what, um, did you just say NES? I, 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 I meant N64. I was going to say, I was like, Mar wait a second. I love Mario Party on the NES. Like, they made a lot of Mario Party games just for the uh, GameCube. Like... Yeah, and then we went to the Wii, and we had two. Then the Wii U, we had one. And um, uh, all of them were garbage. Because Except for Mario Party Eight, Mario Party Eight was yeah, Mario Party, Mario Party Eight was, was fine, but the car system. Fuck. Mario Party Eleven, which has been rumored for a 2019 release for um, a Nintendo Switch, I they're gonna learn from their mistakes. Like there's, there's no way with like how good the Switch is and how this and how much like they, they probably know people despise the the car system. I mean, it'd be cool as an option, but as long as you give like traditional Mario Party back. In some shape or form. I, you I'm know, sure. it it would be okay if they had like a classic mode and a car mode. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, they could throw in the Bowser from Mario Party Ten also. Yeah. Just as long as it's an option. Exactly. Oh, what else would they have on? The, they they'd have Star Fox sixty four, of course. They have Banjo Kazooie. Oh, well. Microsoft has the rights to that, so I don't know if that could be on there. But they said they would be open to other developers using them on their consoles. That's true. And because it, it's it's not like they're like making the game like they're they're just bringing the game that was already on their console previously and just putting on a um a, a yeah, so collection. They, they could they could probably have like Banjo Kazooie and Conquer. Oh yeah yeah um obviously um I've never I never played Conquer's for a day, but I heard it's a it's a really good game. I heard it's like, um, I, I've never gotten into it. Um. Oh yeah, they did have um a green of time in um uh, Majora's Mask. Of course. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of good games on the NES. Um, N sixty four, not the NES. <laughs> yeah, like, much, well, there'd be a lot of good games. Oh, Luigi's. I was gonna say Luigi's Mansion. But that's Luigi's game Mansion game. is a game. I game. know, I know. I realized it halfway through. I forgot. Um, for, for a second, uh, I was also going to say Wind Waker, and I was like, wait, no, that's, that's yep, a GameCube. that's my favorite GameCube game. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, in the comments, if there are any other N sixty four games that that you'd really like, oh, um, uh, Pokemon Stadium, one and two. Oh yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, like <laughs> Pikmin. Wait, no, that was game yeah, two. Yeah, that, that's yeah. <laughs> uh, Yoshi's Story. Yo, Mario Sunshine. I'm Mario kidding. 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but then we, in the comments, uh, leave us suggestions for um, uh, for many other N64 games you'd love to see on a classic if that were to happen. Because I bet E3, it would make sense. I would be surprised if they didn't, honestly. But I, okay, I, I'd be surprised if if they if they didn't reveal. But I'll also be also wouldn't be surprised if they. Okay, either way, whether they reveal it or not, I won't be surprised. Cause like I'll. I, it makes sense. It, it makes sense that they held it off for a bit, but it also makes sense that they decided to announce it because it, you know a lot of people love the N sixty four, myself included. So it as long as they make more than like um a uh, hundred units for it, <laughs> we're good. Um, they got slightly better with with, with the S and because I actually managed to get a SNES classic. But oh well, they are bringing back the NES Classic too later in June, so you know, that's cool. I um, do do you mind if we talk like for ten minutes on one uh, a bonus topic? Yo, what's up? Bonus topic. Um. Well, <laughs> I actually I feel like it'd be better for an idiot's podcast, not. All right, all right, yeah. So, in conclusion, I, I think you know what I was talking about. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I I, th- I think I know what you were about to bring up. <laughs> like not not the whole thing, just certain parts about it. Yeah, we can uh, we can uh, say that for the idiots podcast. But yeah, um, in conclusion, um, great first episode, great way to to start the series to talk about a recent Wii U port, some more chance aces, Pokemon Quest, and a possible N sixty four mini, and our hopes and expectations from it. Um, I I the series is gonna be great. Um, we are gonna have a great time recording, just as we did this time. We um, played Minecraft beforehand, and it got us in a really pumped we up. We did mood. play Minecraft before recording. That is true. That that is something we did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's get Minecraft on the N sixty four mini, like please. Yes. That 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 would be great. You know what really needs the sixty four mini? What? Sonic Adventure. <laughs> but let's, exclusively Big of the Cat story. Let's have Smash Melee on, on that 64 mini. <laughs> it needs to be on there. It was it was it was, it was my favorite. Mario game Galaxy. Game. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have him up. let's have the um, Wii U version of um, Breath of the Wild onto the N sixty four classic or mini. No, no, no! Screw that. Let's get, <laughs> let's get, uh, Mario Galaxy Two. Let's get, let's get Super Mario Galaxy Two onto the N sixty four, please. It's it, it's. Let's get let's get Sunshine Two on yeah, the it, SNES. It's a it's a port. Fans have been waiting for for um, a long time now. You know, like Reggie hasn't Why done it. Why haven't they put Sunshine she on any virtual it. console for eShop? They haven't. It's just a GameCube exclusive and disc exclusive. You have to physically buy the game for like two hundred bucks. <laughs> let's get let's get the, whole, the 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 Metroid Prime trilogy onto the N sixty four mini because that would be great. Also, okay, an actual game they must should bring on there is um uh, Goldeneye for the N sixty four because that game was that, that oh, game was yeah. Cool. That'd be cool. Love Goldeneye. I bet they would do that. That make a lot of sense. Uh, they should. Legitimately, they should put Mario Kart 64 on there. Well, oh, 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 honestly, they, they did that. I forgot about that game. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, but of course, it's going to be good games on the NES. It was one of the first consoles to have a very large category of big AAA games at the time. Um, do you mean N64 or do you mean to say SNES? Uh, N64. Okay. SNES. Yeah. While, yes, it did have a lot of good first-party games, N64 is really where third-party support oh, yeah. went in. Like, he had Rareware, uh, making GoldenEye, and 
they practically they did help on the SNES with Donkey Kong Country games, but mm-hmm. it, they really started to shine in N sixty four days. Yeah, man, a lot of great N sixty four games. Great console. Great console. So, one of the best. Yeah. So great first episode. I love uh, I love what, I love to turn out. Don't worry, we we won't we won't be um, uh, re recording this. Everything is good. Um, I hope you enjoyed our topics that you know that we covered. You know, like leave us suggestions in the comments. Obviously, and we can you know we, we can cover it next time. Um, our Twitter is in the description. Obviously, uh, uh, like all that stuff. And I'm uh, Shauna. Any any closing words? Ah, uh, dude, we forgot to record the audio. We're gonna have to re-record it. What if it. we did? That'd be actually <laughs> awful. It'd be like a three-hour recording, and yeah. we weren't. You forgot to hit the record button. We've just been talking to ourselves. What for, if like, I was live streaming this so, like the whole entire time? <laughs> It'd make it more embarrassing if I said this. All Fuck. right, nipples. But but again, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next episode. Goodbye.